This is, uh, I guess, a moment that of all fighters come up dream of, right? Being in the UFC main event. Yeah. What's, what's the emotion, the excitement level like right now for you? Uh, I'm not excited, and I'm I like I, I'm not I'm not getting into my emotions right now. Like I'm just I've, I've been saying this the whole week and for the past few weeks. Like I'm just trying to just live in the moment. Like I'm seeing me face on the poster, but like. It hasn't hit me yet that that is me and that I'm fighting Cerrone. Like, I'm just living at the moment, living every moment. I'm not taking anything for granted because, you know, opportunities like this, they don't come around every so often. And especially after, you know, I've only had four fights in the UFC. You know, it takes guys 10 fights plus to get main events. So I, I, I'm honoured. I really am. You fought just seven weeks ago, and famously, I think you approached Sean Shelby in a bar, and yeah. that's how this all came together. But give me the thought process of saying, you know, that wasn't an easy fight that you had last no, time out. No. So to, to put in that and to say, I'm going to turn around yeah. less than two months later, I mean, what was the thought process there? No, because it was a hard fight, you know, boy, I'm huge welterweight, you know, tough to finish, and I did try to finish him, and, you know, I respect him a lot. He didn't really bring me out of first gear. Much like he didn't show me much that I, I, you know, that worried me. But then you know everyone knows about me and Sean were in the bar and was with me manager. And then you know he was talking about how Donald wanted to fight in Poland, but he didn't have a main event. And then he said, "Oh, hey, Darren, like, would you fight him?" And I said, "Well, yeah, of course I'd fight him." And then he was like, "Let me get back to you on that." So like the week after me fight, you know, I'm limping after the leg kicks, and I get the call, the fight's on, and I just said. Let's do this shit. This is this is my time. This is my time to shine now. You know what I mean. So you know, seven weeks ago I've just fought and now I'm fighting one of the biggest names in MMA. This is what a this is what legends are made of. I gotta think. I mean, you you being a young guy, Donald Cerrone is somebody that you had to watch. You know, coming up and and I gotta say, probably even be a fan of. Right? I mean, who doesn't like watching the guy fight? Uh, I'm a fan. I respect the guy. I came up watching him when he was fighting in WEC. All his UFC fights, I'm a fan, but I am still gonna knock him out. Saturday, There's, pff, I'm a fan. I respect him after the fight. He can have a Budweiser with me, but I will go in there to knock him straight out. That is what I will do. Is there a moment that you think you might have to catch yourself? You know what I mean? Like, you get in the cage. You know, obviously the lights are on. It's the main event. The crowd's full. You look on the other side. It is Cowboy Cerrone. Somebody you've watched on TV. I mean, is there a moment that you think you might have to? Bring it back in and check yourself. No, a I'm the most relaxed fighter out there. No, it doesn't phase me the crowd. Uh, it doesn't. Nothing phases me. I'm going in there to do my job. I, you know, I set out to do this, and none of that stuff phases me. I'll be relaxed and I'll be looking across at Cowboy, and we're gonna fight. That that's just how it is. Nerves, everything. I, I can control all that. I, I'm very good at controlling it. Also, you know, when I'm staying across at him, you know. It's, it's go time. I'm, I'm in that frame of mind. Nothing else matters. I don't care about my family. I don't care about my friends. I care about beating the guy in front of me. Famously, he's been saying he, he doesn't know who you are. Now, that's not abnormal. He doesn't watch a lot of fights. No, I mean, no. he said it. So, did you take any disrespect no. when he's like, I don't know who that guy is? No, I didn't take no disrespect at all. Why should he know who I am? He, he's got no reason to. Everyone thinks that I took disrespect to that. No, I didn't. I, the guy, he just got no right and knowing who I am, you know, obviously he knows who I am now, but, you know, I didn't take not one ounce of disrespect from that. Yeah. Have you guys crossed paths yet this week? Have you had a chance to see him around the hotel? Yeah, I've seen him twice. Uh, i seen him on Monday. I was running on the treadmill and he was coming out doing a massage and, you know, we've been talking shit and we just nodded our heads at each other, you know. We're not going to fight now, are we? We're going to fight Saturday, but, you know, let's keep it, you know, sweet. If, you know, if it does come to it, we get into the hotel, okay, then we'll have two fights, but, you know, we just nodded our heads and then, Yesterday I seen him, he was going to the you know, to his room and I was going to see my friend. So, you know, it's all it's all good vibes this week. Very nice. Uh he's definitely fought the best of the best. I mean, what is it that you think you bring to the table? I mean, I hear a lot of people saying you're just the younger guy, the more hungry guy. I mean, but is there anything that you think you bring that he hasn't seen before? I am just the best fighter out there. There's not a guy who's better than me on my level. It, in my mind, it, it, there's not a guy who can beat me. I, I really, truly believe that when I say it. You know, guys, they, they come out and say they're the best and this and that, they, and you can see when they say it, they don't believe it. When I say something, I believe it totally. And You know, I, I, I don't look at Sony, I don't look at Woodley, I don't even look at light heavyweights that they're better than me. I, I believe I'm better than every single one of them. And if you say to me, fight them, I'll go into that fight knowing that I can beat them. That, that's my mind, that's my frame of mind. That's how I think every day, every, every day of my life. I think that comes across too. I mean, you can tell when guys are trying to hype themselves up and guys yeah. really believe in themselves. Where does that come from? I mean, have you always had that type of self confidence, yeah. self belief? Yeah, ever since I started, I just believed in myself. You know, I just didn't let anyone tell me that it, it had to be. I just believed in my talent and what I could do. And that's carried through the years and it's only got stronger and it only will get stronger to a point where, you know, 
I'm reaching levels that you know no one's ever reached, and that's what I really want to do. You know, people are always setting the bar higher. You know, back in the day, you know, Chuck Liddell set the bar, then Anderson Silva, then just recently Connor set the bar. I want to be that guy to set the bar again, and then someone else is going to come and set a new bar, but I'll still be remembered as one of the greats, and that that is that is the end goal for me. I don't, you know, I don't care about money or anything. I want to be remembered as the greatest fighter that ever fought in MMA. A lot of people are saying that you're the future of British MMA. I mean, is that a title? Because it sounds like you're shooting more than just being the future of British MMA. But, I mean, do you want that title to kind of represent yeah, the it's, nation? Yeah, it's, it's good to represent my city and, and the nation. But I'm not the future of British MMA. I'm the future of MMA. That's that's It's plain and simple like that. And what, what better organization to do it in, you know, the UFC? It's it's the pinnacle. You know, and I, I'm that guy in there and our main event. And I'm, I'm looking to do great things with, with the UFC. I'm really, I'm looking to do great things. Does this feel like an important moment in your career, like the moment that people say, because you haven't had a chance to fight in the States yet. I mean, I've been fortunate to see a lot of your fights, but a lot of people back home haven't. So do you feel like this is the moment that everybody around the world kind of wakes up and sees you're the real deal? Yeah, as soon as they see my my, my, my abilities on Saturday, as soon as they see me fight against, you know, in their eyes, one of the best fights in the world, and the, the way I'm, I make them look silly, they're going to be like, who the hell is this kid? Just come come around and, you know, then from there... I can, I can only get bigger. I can only do great things. So, my moment sat there, you know, it's, this is a historic moment for me. 24 years old, as you said very early in your USC career, but you beat a guy like Donald Cerrone, especially if it's going to be impressive, which I don't see how this fight's not going to be exciting. Where do you go from there? I mean, there's there's not a lot of names on top of that. No, uh, I, I keep saying, you know, people keep saying after this fight, you, you know, you're going to be in talks for a title and I don't want a title after this fight I, I don't believe I've earned that right you know and I will never disrespect the champion that way you know I don't want to fucking fuck that champion up anyway but I'm not going to disrespect that guy that guy has worked years and years to get where he is now and then I just beat Cerrone and it's like the guy thinks he deserves a title shot no I've got a good head on me and I know I, after Cerrone I need to beat you know maybe one or two more people till I get that title I will get there but you know I, I'm not going to disrespect anyone by saying, give me a title shot now, you know, that that's not me, I, I'm genuine, and I believe after Cerrone, I need to beat someone else, you know, I need to beat the third ranked, or anyone in the top 10, I'll just, I'll just fucking take over that top 10 division, there's fucking no one in there who can beat me, they're all bums. Very interesting opportunities for you, because you could fight in big cards in Europe, Yep. you could fight in big cards in Brazil, you got section there, you haven't been in the States yet, no. what, uh, you know, what, where do you think you should go after this? I, I want to go to my hometown, Liverpool. I, I want to be the main event in Liverpool, the first ever main event. You know, People have dreams of fighting at Madison Square Garden in Las Vegas, and I do, but my dream is to fight in front of my hometown for the first time, be a main event against that, you know, a top-ranked guy. You know, that, that, for me, is history. That, that I'll be remembered in Liverpool forever for that, and you know, that's what I really want right now. That would be amazing. Well, first Saturday night, listen, there's there's going to be a lot of people that, you know, that when this fight was announced, the people that don't know you, I think a lot of people were saying, what the, the hell is this fight all about? So for the people that maybe haven't seen you fight, what are they going to see when they tune into this card on Saturday? Brilliance, greatness. I, I, I believe in great and know I'm great. They're going to see greatness. You know, every, every once in a while a fighter comes along and you say, that fight is great. The people who don't know me, when they see me sat, they're going to say, that fight is great, he's going on to do big things. That's what, what I believe I'm going to do, and I know I'm going to do. So, you know, for anyone who doesn't know me, you're going to see greatness, Sati. I totally believe it.